We're at the Cary Furnaces National Historic Landmark located in Rankin and Swissvale, PA. Two furnaces behind me are furnaces number six and seven. Uh, the remainder of what was, you know, seven blast furnaces that were producing 9,000 tons of molten iron a day between 1884 and 1982. These two furnaces operated between 1907 and 1978 and are the only examples of pre-World War II blast furnace technology left anywhere in this country. What that means is that they're reflecting the technology that was put in place in the early 20th century that gave rise to the dominance of America as an industrial power. The, the iron that came from these furnaces became the steel that was made in the Homestead Works and that steel is what built America and created America's 20th century. So you had tens of thousands of southern and eastern Europeans flooding into this region in the early 20th century to create a better life. Their efforts and the efforts of the next generation built the labor unions and, and paved the way for the middle class in this country. So it's sites like this that um, really define who we are as not just a region, but a, as a country. And, and what this country did during the 20th century to rise to prominence. It, it's something that will probably never be seen again. You know, heavy manufacturing like this. And it's important that we save a site like this to tell that story. It defines who we are. You know, it, and a lot of folks think, well, it's just the story of carry furnaces, and it really isn't. Um, that's part of it, but it, it's the story of the entire country. That's why they're National Historic Landmarks. If it was just based on being this site, that wouldn't have been enough. But it's something that really, truly defines the region, the state, the country, and the world.